Hallelujah. 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 Pela karus ke de brende ke dibala kasiata. Can I tell you this? If it is God you are doing business with, before He commits to you destinies, before He commits to you anointings and graces, you must be tested. Genesis 22, please, from verse 1. We're still looking at the life of Abraham. And it came to pass after these things. Remember Genesis 12? Abraham has an encounter with God. He begins his journey. Ten chapters later, we see him stepping into the next phase. It came to pass after these things that God did what? Tempt. Some verses will say, test Abraham. What was the test? Abraham, he said, behold, I am here. Next verse, please. He said, take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. Take note of love only and lovest only son whom thou lovest get thee into a land of moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which i will tell you verse 3 here's what the bible says and abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and isaac his son and clave the wood for the bond offering and rose up and went on to the place which god had told him we'll continue later on but look look at this look at this god tells abraham i want to make you a father of nations i will bless them that bless you cause him that causes you in thee shall all the families be blessed in other words i'm going to make you the landlord of the earth he willed the earth to abraham are we together now and then abraham did not know that as he kept obeying god transiting he would get to a point where god will now say now we are getting to the season where prophecy and destiny is about to be activated but not without a test the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that everything that was happening was a test but abraham did not know it was a test can i tell you this this final phase of your preparation season is the hardest phase for most people ask any great man they will tell you the season of test is a season where you have to obtain grace from god the season of test will test you across three things number one it will test you across trust and integrity you will be tested you will be tested you will be tested your capacity to be a person of integrity will be tested beyond measure number two the second test is the test of patience the test of patience i can tell you this if it is god who is lifting you he will stretch you from pillar to post man of god let me tell you what he will do to you as a great man on fire god loving you your pastor just looks at you and says you are going to be the person opening the gate at the church you look at the potential of your anointing compare it to the miracle that just happened before you came and say pastor sorry i hope you know that two among these ten testimonies came directly from me and yet god says go and do it can i tell you this the test of greatness achieves many things among them it must humble you to your lowest otherwise it's not god lifting you some of these insulting derogatory experiences we go through the man of god may not know god is using him to test you nobody knows that it's a test is it's only god it's not like men know if a man tries to test you he's not god it is at the end looking from hindsight you will know that it was not about isaac it was not about abraham it was about god saying for me to commit this kind to you this is where many people fail 
they fail the test can i tell you this the test of destiny will insult your pedigree the test of destiny will turn you sometimes you look at yourself and say i'm not a fool be careful the moment it starts looking like god is just allowing things to fall your hand like we call it be careful there are people today who would have become mighty men and women of god if they had submitted themselves to cleaning the chair they say no way i can't be carrying this heavy prophetic grace especially when you are serving and your superiors may not seem to be as gifted as you maybe someone is in that face right now listen carefully I've trained the leaders in this ministry to understand that anything at all God gives you, do it with all your heart. You do not know what season you are stepping into. Are we together? Go and ask many great men. Do you know what Stephen was doing before he became that mighty man? Stephen was part of those who were serving tables. There are many great men today. Who started by scrubbing the floors of their CEOs and while they were scrubbing the floors they will hear discussions happening and they were cleaning all kinds of things while their contemporaries were saying I'm too big they were saying no 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 I love the Lord father it's a privilege for me to do what I'm doing the moment you are too big to be tested you are also too big to be great or too small to be great I have told God and I told God this right from before he lifted me no matter what it is that I have to do is in the name of the Lord and I'm serving you I will do it with all my heart I stand before the God of heaven and I'm telling you now if the Lord asked me to drop this leadership and leave everything and go back to be an usher even in Koinonia here I stand by the God of heaven I will do it I know you think I'm not all right but I will do it it's better to be wrong with God let me tell you how you know that the door of greatness is already closing in you the moment what you were doing before you now become too big to do it check yourself go for a retreat quickly some of us as it is today if you hold a broom you will be sick may god forgive you in the name of jesus christ because you see can i be honest with you one of the ways to walk in humility is that occasionally in your life disengage yourself with certain privileges even if it's for a day and you go back to the things you used to do they will administer a measure of humility to keep you balanced because you see as you rise there will be people to serve you protocol you see me coming in and you see all these my people everything and some of you this is what you are looking at when you look at all these things say, oh god i must be like joshua selman not his prayer life not his word life what you want is this one and god says you lie i'm not i'm not you don't cheat me like that you go back and start that school of the spirit the season of testing this is the season where it will look like God is not even answering your prayer I've taught you here as a man of God you can pray for somebody who will go for the crusade and be raising people from wheelchairs and they bring somebody who is suffering from constipation you will almost lay all your hands on the person and nothing happens and the person says i'm disappointed i was told so much about you i i i, I thought and you say me and god says keep quiet tell him god bless you you say god bless you and he leaves and you feel stupid at a point you say god what is the name of all these things god will send you to go and preach somewhere as soon as you finish you'll be waiting thinking an honorarium is coming they will just carry maybe orange or banana hold it in a leather and say sir may the lord who called you honor you and bless you listen 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 and you are standing there and wondering okay a three days conference and god says accept it quickly and go he's winning you of the lost for things tests most of us miss these seasons because we have an idea that the moment you are gifted the next thing after being gifted is celebration you lie not in god's economy there will be a season of test this is where many people abort destiny 
and about greatness they are too big to serve they are too big to pray they are too big to do whatever it is that they do believe what i'm telling you for many years in my life i wanted to buy a car but god prohibited me this is true and at a point i said what is all this one now a car that will help me is still this gospel thing the making of the great is painful you are not the only one apostle you don't know what is happening to me you think so how do you think everybody who got here got here it looks you see that season makes it painful and you think it's only you this is why mentorship is powerful because when you see the people sitting at the table of greatness like kung fu masters they laugh at you they say just continue continue you will get here god can give you an assignment and say from today and for the next six months four days out of every seven days you are fasting and from 12 o'clock till four you are praying and you say god for what i thought you said i'm a kingdom financier he says that's exactly the training of a kingdom financier god trains you as a kingdom financier like he's training a revivalist you will say god confirm it with speed you will have a dream someone will send you a text god will send another word so that you must do it with the exact word you must fast and you must pray and can i tell you this you will fast for two three months thinking there is a mighty crusade coming nothing will happen till you finish that fasting this is a test i'm explaining this to you because many of you are in this season now i tell you lift up your eyes look beyond the pain your salvation is near